What up you guys, today I'll be discussing some essential software for photographers called Capture One. Let's get straight to it. All right, so the first reason why I'm such a big fan of Capture One is because it allows me and my team or me and my client to review images on my monitor display versus the small display that comes on the back of cameras. The reason why I don't like to depend on this display on the back of my camera is because it's kind of small and it can get in the way of the flow of being on set. And with viewing images on the monitor, it allows me and my team to kind of get out of each other's way and work in a seamless environment. All right, you guys, so the next reason why I'm such a big fan of Capture One is it has these built-in tools to let you know whenever your exposure is too light or too dark. So right here, we have this image that's you know a bit bright, and if we tap on this button right here, the exposure warning, it'll cover all the areas that are overexposed in red. So that way you can easily tell you know if your highlights are blown out. So if you want to go ahead and adjust your exposure to get rid of that red, simple as that. All right, and another tool that helps me when I'm on set with my client and my team sometimes is the ability to show multiple images at once. That allows us to, you know, review different images and see which one we like out of the images that we've shot. Um, so right here I have four images up that me and my team are reviewing. So that way when we're done shooting, we don't have to go through thousands or hundreds of images. We kind of already know off the top which images are going to be our favorites or our selects. In addition to being able to view multiple images at the same time, what you can also do is quick rate your photos. So if I find an image that I really like and I want to make sure I remember by the end of the shoot, I just tap this five button and it'll rate this image five stars. And at the end of the shoot, I can go to my sort, sort by rating, so that at the end of my shoot, I can scroll all the way to the top and see which images I rated five stars. All right, you guys, so we just switched the look up into something more creative so I can show you guys how you can color grade inside of Capture One. So right here, we just captured an image and I wanna show you guys how I can go through and color grade this photo and how the rest of these images will have the same color grade on them without me having to reapply the same settings that I just changed. So we're gonna go through, increase the exposure just a tad bit, drop the saturation, increase the brightness, and the highlights down. I'll leave the shadows where they at, increase the whites a little bit, and now I'm gonna go into my color balance tool. Now that's really where you can sit down and color grade your image. So for this image, I wanna use some more magenta, purple type of shadows. And then for the highlights, I wanna make them a tad bit warmer, just to contrast from the shadow tone and to give her skin tone, you know, a nice little pop to it. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And we can also change our hue saturation, but we're gonna go into this skin tone slider and we're gonna sample her skin tone. Now we're gonna go into this hue, bring her skin tone a little bit more toward that magenta side, desaturate the skin just a tad bit. And I'm gonna bring that lightness down, which will really make that brown skin tone pop. And if you guys wanna go through and add presets to your photos, like you're in Lightroom, I have Capture One styles available for my link in the description, where it's just a one-click solution, so you guys can just tap that and it works on all your image and you'll get a similar color grade to what I have in my photos. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how if I keep shooting, the images will all have the same color grade on them. All right, and last but not least, my favorite feature about Capture One are these quick export settings. So if I go right here to the top left corner and I tap this export button, you can see that right here, there's different preset settings for your images. So normally what I do is if I'm just sending these off to a client or to my team so we can review the images after the shoot, I can tap this quick proof button and it'll automatically scale these images down to a way that I can upload them instantly. 
and there's an Instagram optimized feature which will allow for your images to be exported in the highest quality for Instagram. And then last but not least, you have full size JPEG, which means if you want to print these photos out or if you just want a high quality photo for whatever your needs are, it has that setting built in. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed the shoot. We were able to shoot with the lovely Jaylene once again. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.